Hey guys, we're back on the Cabo. Actually downstairs in the engine room this time. We're going to do some uh, some maintenance on the engine. This is a Caterpillar 3208, uh, 450 horsepower, um, turbo aftercooled, I think is what they what they consider this one. We're going to do some uh, work right here actually on this guy. This is our uh, wheel for the impeller, uh, so our water pump, our salt water raw, raw water pump. Um, water comes in right here through this tube, uh, goes into here, here's the impeller, and comes out and feeds the engine. So we're actually going to make, uh, make a change there, do some maintenance, a little bit of preventative maintenance. We'll see, I don't know if you guys can see the, the bolts right here, but it's a little bit of a tight, uh, tight fit to get in there and just remove the, the impeller itself. Uh, I, last time when I did it, I didn't like doing it that way. It ended up being too much more of a pain. It's a lot easier just to, there's three bolts right there um, on, the, uh, on the actual bracket for the pump. I'm just going to remove the bracket, move the pump, and then uh, make the changes So and swap out the impeller. So I found that to be a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and get into it and uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll, you can see the process. guys so like anything anytime you're going to deal with the raw water you want to make sure you close the seacock let me uh, reach down to the bottom of the boat looks like I need to exercise these a little bit more often there we go there got it closed all right so I got the the hose clamps are nice and loose on there um, you can see with this one, actually I might loosen those just a little bit more. The, uh, I'm not really worried about the, the hose falling off, but I want to get as much, much space in there as I can. That way I don't have to, uh, don't have to fight it as much. Though, and of course be careful every time you do it, you want to make sure you, uh, close the seacock. You can see down there, this is our intake, uh, hose. Oh. Got to have the water water shut off, otherwise you're going to make a mess, um, and you definitely don't want a lot of salt water inside the boat. So, all right. So I got everything off. I got one last bolt to just pull out, and then uh, I'll pull this off, and we'll get it on the bench, and we'll uh, see if we can get that impeller out without any fight. All right. So I broke the hose loose. You can kind of see it's moving nice and easy. Just kind of wiggling it off. Yep. Pull it right off. I'm a just tuck that out of the way. I don't want any water to fall out of it. I also don't want it in my way when I'm uh, sitting here working. So let me go ahead and just put that over here. Would have been probably handy to bring a zip tie. Oh, that's perfect. So it actually just stuck up out of the way right there. So, all right. So now I've got the, the raw water hose off. And let me go ahead and uh, I'll probably take the bracket off first and then try and get this uh, little hose. I don't know if you can see that, but I've only got about a four inches of a hose here so that's uh pretty loose let me go ahead and pull the uh pump off first and then we'll we'll see what we can do all right guys so here's the uh oh, let me get all the stuff out of the way so i don't want to get anything destroy anything so here's the water pump it's a little bit of pain getting it out but it uh it ended up coming peacefully looks like uh Backside looks like it's got inlet, inlet, uh, cam. Not really sure what that means, though. So, but we'll uh, go ahead and take the plate off. I'm sure it's not going to match any of the ones I've got out. Let me, let me grab my grab my wrench set. Ugh. Got the new impeller. Let's see. 
Oh, way too big. Like a half. Yep, looks like a looks like it's gonna be a half. And then looks like those are gonna be nine sixteenths. I didn't bring zincs with me on uh, this one. I will have to uh, grab them. I do believe I have them in the boat somewhere. So get everything cracked. Looks like we got a, a nut and then a crush washer on each one. Oh, my grow post sliding. There we go. Got a little bit of residual water. I have to clean everything off afterwards. I definitely don't want salt water sitting on the inside. So. So, doesn't look like it's in too terrible of a condition. It looks like all the, at least on first inspection, all the fins are in there. So that's at least good. So, let me grab, I've got a bolt that I use for, for this. Here's the handy dandy bolt. And adjust that a little bit so you guys can get a better angle. So, this actually threads right into the back of the impeller and should be able to just tighten it out of there. Let me uh, grab another socket. Well, shoot, maybe I didn't have a socket big enough. I thought I did last time. Nope, doesn't look like it. I definitely don't remember using pliers on it. So, looks like it's just a little bit bigger. And this is one inch. It's a little bit bigger than the one inch. So I guess I'm gonna have to use pliers. Which is definitely not what I wanted to do.
All right. It came out finally. It was not a not the easiest thing. It's a looking at the impeller. It's definitely got some some wear, some scraping. Not actually sure what that's from, but uh, you can definitely see there's a lot of a lot of scrapes on the fins. Uh, this one's worn worn pretty bad, though. So it seems to be all on the top side of the uh, of the impeller. This one's actually cracked. Looks like it might have might have lost a piece right there. So this one's cracked. So it definitely was definitely was time to change and uh, get a new one. So we've got our new impeller. This is what it should look like, brand new. So. I didn't bring any soap down with me, so I'm gonna have to probably go grab some soap. What I like to do is, is cover the fins in soap, makes it a little bit slippery, and uh, makes it a little bit easier to get it, uh, get it in the hole. So you can kind of see the, there's a key, so that little, that little spot right there needs to line up with, with this here. That's what allows it to spin and not free spool inside the, uh, uh, the actual water pump. So just to kind of give you a little bit better look of what it looks like inside there though so pretty much all all brass or and uh got some fins and some holes so so we'll go ahead and uh, get this swapped out i'm gonna probably grab some soap and uh see if i can put that back in hopefully it goes in a lot easier than it came out because uh, i'll say coming out was a kind of a pain I feel like i need to get a couple extra tools didn't quite have the right socket size didn't have the right wrench uh, to get that out this is a one inch and the bolt i found was probably one and an eighth um, if not just a smidge bigger so i know it's just a little bit larger than than one inch so i also realized these two plugs these are not zincs um, they actually just turned out to be literally just plugs so i honestly don't know if anybody has a idea as to why there's plugs um, I would assume to drain water but not really sure why that would matter uh, especially if the hoses are here and you disconnect the hoses so so if you do happen to know uh, be curious leave a comment um, be curious why there's uh, two plugs there um, and no zincs so there's I think we moved it a little bit squeezed it in there I think I popped it out when I uh, forced this. Give it a little spin to start. There we go. Now the key's on it. I'd say that's in there nice and flush. Oh. Next I'm gonna pull this uh, little gasket out. Don't forget the gasket. I know it's uh, probably very easy to forget. They give you a new one when you get the, uh, the new impeller. So make sure you grab the, uh, the gasket. They gave me two of course because I have two engines but this was the only one that was a uh, actually giving me some problems so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, switch this one now while, while I got some downtime in between charters. Probably shouldn't have locked it down as much but gotta make sure these other ones go in smooth.
All right, got the new impeller in, new gasket in. Now it's a matter of putting it back on the uh, on the engine, and then, uh, so we'll move move around just a little bit. I'm gonna shift some cameras and get uh, get back to it. All right, got the uh, got the water pump back on on the engine. Uh, I just realized that the these two bolts. I don't know if you can see with my hand. So uh, this one and this one, they don't actually have to come all the way out of the engine. Um, they have a track that they'll slide on, so you can actually leave the uh, bolts in the in the engine and use it as leverage. So I just found that out. That's actually uh, really nice because uh, for getting it back on, that really helps out and makes it easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up my my hoses, get the. Uh, Get both of them clamped back on. I'm going to start with a small one. We're going to put the put it up this way. And just from doing this maintenance, I feel like the next time I, next time I do replace this uh, impeller, I will probably whoop, just snap the band. So that's a that's a good thing to know. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have to go get another one of those before we take the boat out. So I'll probably just re replace both of them because uh, that will end up being a problem if I uh, if I don't replace them both. So. I did notice that those, all of these bands are the, what I'm going to call is the, the cheaper kind. They have a, they're not as, not as robust. And you can see I just snapped that one. So, so since I did that, I snapped that, I'm going to replace all of them and uh, get new ones. So, but I'm going to go ahead and just get it.